I tested dozens of mock-up generators to find the absolute best artificial intelligence mock-up generator in the world. As someone who creates print-on-demand products for Amazon Merch, I need a way to create unique mock-ups that I can post to my social media channels to generate sales of my designs. Most mock-up tools are too expensive, have a limited selection of products and models, and just plain don't look any good. I can't reuse the exact same image with the same model over and over again with a different shirt design. Anyone looking at my Pinterest would get bored in 10 seconds flat. In this video, I'm going to show you the best AI mock-up generator out there. And the best part, it's completely free. This is Maki. And what I love about this tool is that it dominates when it comes to making mock-ups for me. It's a free mock-up generator, which I cannot believe it has over a thousand templates. And let me show you just what it has. T-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, caps, tote bags, sweatshirts, bottles, books, phone covers, stickers, gaming pads, beanies, posters, cans, mugs, flyers, boxes, cushions, greeting cards, iPhones, laptops, jackets, business cards, and even ID cards. And here's their process. It's so simple. You upload your design, you customize it, and you hit download. <laughs> There's three steps. It's so easy to use. So let me show you exactly what the process is. I'm going to hit upload design, and then I just choose the image that I want to work with. I'm going to upload this new flag I've been working on, and it takes just a few seconds to process. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that these all look terrible because it's design made for black shirts. If you know anything about merch and Amazon, most shirts are black. Most of my sales, like 90% are black shirts. Watch how easy it is to fix this problem. Boom. <laughs> so quick. Now we can choose any color we want from their swatches. They have some default colors like this green, this purple. These don't quite all match the standard colors for Amazon Merch. I know these come from other t-shirt designs, but I can grab the hexadecimal color that goes with any of the Amazon Merch standard colors and match it perfectly here so that the shirts match the design I'm looking for. So even though it switched to green, notice that it still has the shadow and the folds on their shirts, so they still feel pretty natural. I'm going to go, let's look at purple, blue, that's a bluish green, a lighter blue. This one looks really cool. Let's just go with black because that's the standard I work with. Now, the best part is that I'm not limited to one product type. There's a lot of t-shirts, which is a standard, but I can switch to tank tops. And this guy looks great. <laughs> this looks awesome, my Argentinian American flag. We have a lot of different models and different poses doing some very interesting things. And they have a pretty natural feel compared to a lot of other tools out there. Let's go to a hoodie. Now with hoodies, I tend to put my design on the back. So that's what I'm looking for is back designs that I can use. So there's only a couple. This one's pretty good. Let me show you what happens when I click on it. I can edit the design. This is where things get really cool. You can mess around with rotation, the size of the image. So if I want to make it seem bigger, you want to be careful not to do this. The mock-up is smart enough to not put it on top of the hood, which is really impressive, right? It shows that there's some AI going on here, that this hood is actually a separate image than the main part of the sweatshirt. Very, very cool. You can play around with it and get exactly the look you want because sometimes your mock-ups will be a little bit too small or too big. You can see they have a couple of standard hoodie colors to get a feel for what it will look like. But if I want to get an exact color, I still have the ability, and this is really what's important is that I have this granular control of the most important thing. But the two things I really look for with a mock-up designer are a lot of mock-ups to choose from so that I can rotate through them so my ideas and my images constantly seem fresh and that I can pick the exact colors that I need. Obviously, I want to go back to black because that's the one that looks best. And if I like this design, I click download mock-up and that's it. Doesn't ask for a password, doesn't have to do login, doesn't ask for IG, doesn't do anything. It's so awesome. Now, you can change the design by clicking this button and uploading a different image if I want. That's how quick it is. I love this particular guy wearing a hoodie on the lake, and I can flip through a bunch. Now, let's go back a level, and let's go to t-shirts. What I really like about t-shirts is that they have a lot of couples. You don't see that a lot. They have some interesting things here that look pretty cool. And you can also get granular and erase the background and put another background in using some of your other AI tools. But I want something that works all in one very quickly. This guy looks great, but you see the design is way too small on him. I noticed that right out the gate. Here's how easy it is to fix that. So I can drag it down and get a real sense of the correct size. 
This is much closer to the correct size of the shirt. It's a little hard to get perfect because he's very muscular. He's a big guy. But now the design looks really good and I can click download and go back to the next design. It instantly downloads it. I'm already working on the next project. Very quick to do. And we can jump to really different types of designs. One of the challenges is like a tote bag is usually square. Normally with a lot of mock-up generators, this is where you'll start to notice they fall down, but these look pretty good. They do have a limited selection in some of these other categories, but it looks good. It's a really great starting point, a lot you can build on. Let's look at caps. Again, we have some things that are a little bit tricky. You can see the design has some issues on this hat. Let's go in and make it bigger. And with a design like this, you can see that the way an American flag hangs, the stars are always supposed to be top left. So I actually would want to mirror the image. The next thing is you can change the background of the image. I can upload my own background image to go behind this. Unfortunately for this hat, I would actually have to recreate the design. This is a problem in the design, not them. I can make the hat look bigger, but hat designs tend to be, so I would have to flip this in my own tool and re-upload to make it look right for a hat, but still is great starting point. And I solved the problem in a matter of seconds. Not every design lets you change the background. Here's one in this guy. And you can see we don't have a background option to change. We can't change what's happening behind him. But I believe for the blue one, we can. Yeah, so here's the background option. You can turn the background off. It does have, you can see there is some, artifacting of the blue on the edges. What happens when we change to like a green? It's a little bit noticeable, but this is what happens when you do a background removal. If we stay a little closer to that original blue, it's no longer noticeable. It's just because of the effect of the original background color. So knowing that I can work around it and you can see that it's very, very cool. And I'm a huge fan of what Maki does. Let's go to phone covers. Design your dream bone cover. These look aces. This is very interesting here. This is something that I haven't seen in a lot of other mock-up generators. The ability to put the design behind the hand. This really feels authentic and looks good. And it shows, most importantly, it shows people what the design will look like when they actually use it. And that's the most important thing to me. Not to trick people. This is what the photo will look like in my hands. Do I like this Argentinian American flag or not? And I can post this to Pinterest very quickly. And it's awesome. If I want to try different color phone cases, it's very quick. It's not always going to be perfect. If you look right around the edges and get super close, you can notice that it's not perfect. But again, it's not meant to trick people. It's just meant to give people a sense of, if I get the purple, this is what it will look like. And great for Pinterest where it's a smaller image. Anyways, I can download this mock-up. And very quickly... Because there are about 75 different product types and stores I use on Amazon for all the different countries, I want to have a lot of different mock-ups so that I can link to all those different pages. And now I can do it very, very quickly without spending a single penny. Huge fan of Maki. This is one of the best mock-up generators out there. Definitely the best free one. You want to add it to your arsenal. I hope you found this walkthrough of Maki useful. If you did, take a moment, hit the subscribe button. You'll see my videos way more often. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notified whenever I post one. I post videos showing the best AI tools that I use as a real part of my business and focus on the best things you can find without breaking the bank. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, I think you're going to like this one or maybe even this one. Check them out.